everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Beverly, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Apple iPhone 11 Pro. Okay, so here we go with the iPhone unboxing. Now, I'm debating whether or not to tell you first the story of how I got it, or unboxing the phone first. So, I think... I'm going to tell you the story of how I got it first. Let's be chronological in order. So, the phone came out on September 20th. Today is September 22nd. Now I went to the Apple store on the 20th, the day the iPhone came out. I went to the store and there's the Apple employee. He greets you, he says, hey, how can I help you? I'm like, I would like to buy the iPhone. He's like, do you have a reservation? I'm like, no, can I make a reservation? He's like, you have to make the reservation online. And I was like, okay, can I make it now? He's like, oh, sorry, the reservations for today are all filled up. So I went home, um, got online, there were no open reservations for that entire day. And then the next day, I checked again. There were no reservations to be made at all. I don't know why. I checked at like 8 a.m. in the morning of the next day, so the 21st. And then I checked again around 12 o'clock, and there was a reservation, like an opening appointment. So I immediately grabbed that one, ordered the phone, paid for it, and then I got in line that day in the store. Basically, you make the reservation, then you still have to wait in line. And then after all of the anticipation, uh, which I think there's some kind of a, a, like a news article I read once that said that Apple purposefully makes their phones, like the boxes hard to open just for that like feeling mm -hmm. moment of suspense. And you're like, ah, I'm so excited and the dramatic reveal of the iPhone. Taking off the plastic. Here's the iPhone, opening up the box. Suspense, suspense. Any day now. Ha! Ah! The new iPhone! Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's got the frosted glass back. Oh, that actually feels really cool. I really like that. Okay, so here's my iPhone. And it comes with, you know, you guys have seen this. It's in like every picture you see. I'm gonna just like turn it on first. I think the like the frosted glass, it feels a lot like the metal um, like laptop texture. Like it feels more like that. And of course I'm gonna be putting on a iPhone case on it because I do not want to like even think about, you know, scratching this phone because it was a very, very big investment. And so I already picked up the iPhone 11 Pro phone case. I got their Pro Clear case because I wanted to show off this color. It's gold. It's really pretty. So I would recommend the Apple iPhone 11 Pro for three main reasons. The first reason being the battery. The battery increase in the iPhone 11 Pro is the biggest battery increase ever. This one comes with 3,190 milliamp hours. And you might be wondering, what is milliamp hours? Milliamp hours is a measure of electric power over time. So the bigger the number for your milliamp hours, the more battery you can, you know, the more power you can charge. And I know that for the iPhone XS, the ch charging like for the, the milliamp hours was around 2,700, I want to say. And then I know that previous, like the iPhone 6s was around 1,007 uh, or 800 maybe. I, I know it was just like, they definitely increased from like 1,000 to 2,000 between the 6s and the later generations. But anyways, this one is the biggest battery increase and Apple has been saying that this one will give you an extra hour of use of the battery. And that's obviously really good because sometimes, I forget to charge my phone and then the next day I have like only 30% battery and then I have to charge it again. And also it's just more convenient when you have the peace of mind and comfort of knowing that you don't have to constantly be worrying about is my phone going to run out of battery. And if you use a lot of apps and if you like to text, take videos, take pictures, surf the internet, watch this YouTube video, you know, that takes up a lot of battery. and. You don't have to be always carrying around an additional battery charger every time anywhere you go. So that's very convenient. 
Now the second reason why I would highly recommend this phone is because of the camera. This camera is a three lens configuration. Now this is one of the, the main reasons why I think people are going to get this phone is for the camera. This phone can shoot in 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now, the iPhone XS can also shoot in 4K, but this phone comes with something called more dynamic range and increased cinematic stabilization. I don't even know what that really is, but it sounds really fancy, so good job marketing on that one, Apple. Dynamic range and cinematic stabilization. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Um, but more on the serious side, this phone has um, a lower aperture, so you're able to take brighter pictures in low light. This phone comes with night mode, so pictures taken in darkly lit areas or taken at night, you know, it's gonna look a lot cleaner, a lot crisper and brighter, so that is also good. And finally, the third reason why you should buy this iPhone is for the A13 Bionic chip. Now the A13 Bionic chip comes with improved machine learning with a neural engine alongside the CPU and GPU. And it has machine learning accelerators that can process six times faster than the previous A12 chip. And I heard at the launch event in September, or you know, September, I don't know what week it was, but they also said that the reason why this phone has such a great like battery lifespan is because of the A13 chip. All right guys, so that was my iPhone 11 Pro unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And once again, I would highly recommend getting the iPhone 11. Um, the iPhone 11 Pro is really incredible. The design of it, I think, is a huge step in the right direction. It comes with, you know, a better battery. It comes with the better camera and also the A13 Bionic chip. Now, what I would like to see with this phone for the next uh, generation is the 5G. I would like to see 5G with Apple and I would hope to see it coming with all the other cell phone providers. But yeah, this is a huge step in the right direction and I'm excited to be using my new iPhone. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Bye.